Hi, it's uh, Marcus from Fontaine. I'm um, here to talk to you about ADAS. Hi, it's uh, Marcus from Fontaine. I'm um, here to talk to you about ADAS. Uh, we've recently invested in the calibration equipment. Um, so just talk, talk you through it very simply. So what is ADAS? ADAS is Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. This is something you're starting to see more and more regularly on newer cars now. It's actually going to be standard equipment in the next couple of years. All European cars will be fitted with a form, at least a basic form of Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. What does it consist of? It's um, either a radar or a camera or both. Um, usually radars will measure what's in front of the vehicle and it's usually an anti-collision system. It's normally, it, VW and Audi call it um, braking guard and simply if a pedestrian walks out on the road or a car comes out the side road and if your attention as a driver is slightly distracted and you may not see that, it will measure your reaction time and it will first of all warn you that there's an obstacle and if you don't heed the warning, it will actually break for you. So it's an anti-collision, it's a very, very good system. Why is calibration so important? Well, because if that system isn't accurate, um, exactly accurate, you can get all sorts of misreadings. It can mean that either it doesn't work when it should work, or it fires off and works when it shouldn't. We've heard of all sorts of stories where, for instance, just a speed bump in the road can trigger it off. That's usually because it, the system is slightly out of adjustment. So we recommend, um, and the manufacturer recommends that if you ever, for instance, have your tracking done, your wheel tracking uh, adjusted, or if you have suspension co components replaced, or indeed if, and you'll see with the radar, which is fitted low down in the grill of the car, if that gets damaged or moved, your system will probably stop working altogether or it will be out of adjustment. The same goes for cameras. Now this particular car isn't fitted with a camera, but a lot of them are fitted with a camera which is high up in the windscreen uh, in front of the rear view mirror. And you can see a camera pointing out the front. And they're often used uh, in conjunction with headlights with now what's popular now, LED headlights, LED matrix headlights, which actually see a photograph or, or a picture of the road in front and adjust the headlight beam to, uh, to block out uh, portions of it so it doesn't dazzle on coming cars. Well again, how important is that, that to make sure that is accurate and it's not going to dazzle people and it's going to read and follow the road correctly. So we've invested in equipment um, to calibrate both cameras and radar here. We can do calibration on anything Audi, Volkswagen, Seat, Skoda. And we can also do a lot of other, pretty well all the German vehicles uh, on the road and some, um, some others as well. So the equipment consists of a board that the vehicle has to ha look at with a series of either circles or uh, a pinpoint for the radar to, to see. And it has to be set up, takes quite a bit of time to set it up. Once we set it up, we use our uh, uh, machinery plug it into the diagnostic port on the vehicle, go through a calibration process, and once calibration is complete and it's successfully carried out, um, it'll actually issue a certificate, which is something that our customers could then keep to show that the, the certificate is up to date uh, on the vehicle. So that's a little about how it works. Thank you. I hope you like the uh, video you've seen. If you do, give us a like and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.